he was going to, he was graduating from Detroit Leadership Academy. My goodness. My baby, my only son, my firstborn with my bright eyes. Takaya Armorbrook's 17 year old son, Terrence Armour, was shot and killed while inside a card school craft in Ashton on February 26. His family buried him this weekend. They're still coming to terms with this sudden and tragic loss. Terrence was a beautiful soul. He was very energetic. He was humorous. He liked to joke. He was a family, very family oriented. I just feel like he was a great, humble child. He was baptized. He went to church. Armour was a senior at Detroit Leadership Academy. His mother says he planned to attend college in Las Vegas. He loved basketball and collecting gym shoes. He was brainstorming ways to tie that latter passion to service. He loved gym shoes. He owned over 70 pair of gym shoes. You know, he wanted to create an organization where, you know, he could supply gym shoes to the homeless. Terrence was in his car with two friends when someone in a Dodge Durango drove up alongside them and opened fire. 17 year old Carlisa Taylor, a standout basketball player, was killed in the shooting. She came onto the court giving us great vibes. She always motivated us to do better. A 13 was also struck but survived. Strangers who happened upon the scene came to his aid. She uh, took his took his uh, jacket off, tied his jacket up around his leg just to stop to suppress the suppress the bleeding. bleeding. Just making the right turn at, at a stop sign, you know, with his friends in the car, listening to music, doing an Instagram live, caught off guard, never seen it coming, never had a chance. Takaya says her eight-year-old daughter is traumatized over her big brother's death. She's taking it very hard. She, she don't want to live here in, in the city of Detroit. She can't come home. She, their bedroom was right next to each other. Detroit police are still investigating the shooting. No arrests have been made. This grainy surveillance video, the only major lead in a case that's devastated three families. At the end of the day, we basically just want justice. We want answers. Terrence is gone. Carlos is gone. They are not coming back, but we don't want their their death to go in vain. You know, we want answers and we don't want this to happen to anybody else. All right, Takaya and her husband and Victor tell me that there is a cash reward for information leading to an arrestor pleading with the public tonight. If anyone has any information about what happened here, please call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP and remember you can remain anonymous. Huel. All right, Randy, thank you.